Shalom, shalom, my YouTube Mishpa. What's up, what's up, my people? And welcome, friends, to Bible on a Bicycle. My name is Will, and Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is my one master, my one king, and my one savior. Well, we made it. We made it through this year. I hope everyone is blessed, doing well, and congratulations. And as we come up on to the end of this year and going into the next year, most people make these New Year's resolutions. And I got a few of my own, I'm not going to lie. But mostly, I want to give thanks to all the blessings that I've received in this past year. Now, it's been a year of challenges, some trials and tribulations in my personal life. Not going to sugarcoat it. There's been a lot of changes. For one, my housing situation changed. And I had to relocate after a number of years. I've had to move to a much smaller place. I kind of missed that yard. Just moved into a new place with a brand new view. I need to wash those windows. Say hi to Allie. This is Allie, my roommate. Isn't she pretty? Do -do 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 -do. I have no idea who Zane and Jace is, but thanks, kids. Because your little handprints, for some reason, every time I look at that, it makes me smile. Along with that change in living circumstances, came a change with my pack circumstances. You might notice that uh, my little pack, my little fur babies aren't here as often. And if you subscribe to my other channel or know me in real life, you know how much those fur babies mean to me. I really miss them. I miss them. It's been a really difficult adjustment getting used to them not being here on a daily basis. But overall, it affords me a lot more room and freedom to record these videos here and spend time here with you. As within a year, there's been some ups and downs throughout 2020. It's been a year of great changes for me, as I'm sure it has been for many of you out there. But through it all, I really found it a blessing to be able to come here to YouTube. Some days all the fellowship I get is right here on this channel. This little channel here on YouTube has become my go-to for fellowship and support. Thank you to each and every one of you 1,790 new subscribers that subscribed in 2022. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm still blown away by the fact that anybody's even watching this channel, let alone that even anyone subscribing. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I would just like to say thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Thank you for watching, for subscribing. Whether you're here for the fan edits, which I know many of you are, or the Bible reviews, or for that handful of you that actually take part and comment and fellowship here with me, it really means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. Fresh new candle for a fresh new year. I wanted to wrap this little video up by proclaiming and announcing that I also finished the daily devotional for this year. Those of you that are a frequent viewer of this channel might already know that I've been reading this here little devotional, My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald and Biddy Chambers. There's a little video here all about this here book on this here channel. I want to check it out. But this morning when I got up and read this here uh, devotional, I thought it'd be a very appropriate way to end the year and end this here little video. It's December 31st, yesterday. The God of Israel will be your reward. Isaiah 52 and 12. Security from yesterday. God required that which is past. At the end of the year, we turn with eagerness to all that God has for the future. And yet anxiety is apt to arise from remembering the yesterdays. Our present enjoyment of God's grace is apt to be checked by the memory of yesterday's sins and blunders. Mm. But God is the God of our yesterdays and He allows the memory of them in order to turn the past into a ministry of spiritual culture for the future. God reminds us of the past lest we get into a shallow security 
in the present. Security for tomorrow, for the Lord will go before you. This is a gracious revelation that God will garrison where we have failed to. He will watch lest things trip us up again into the like failure, as they assuredly would do if he were not in our re-reward. God's hand reaches back to the past and makes a clearinghouse for conscience. Security for today. For ye should not go out with haste. As we go forth into the coming year, let it not be in the haste of impetuous, unremembering delight, nor with the flight of impulsive thoughtlessness, but with the patient power of knowing that the God of Israel will go before us. Our yesterday's present irreparable things to us, it is true that we have lost opportunities which will never return, but God can transform this destructive anxiety into a constructive thoughtfulness for the future. Let the past sleep, but let it sleep on the bosom of Christ. Leave the irreparable past in his hands and step out into the irresistible future with him. Till next time, remember, Yeshua, Jesus loves you. So do I. Get off of here. Go ride your bike. Read your Bible.